Good morning, Don Lane. Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Wednesday, July the 3rd. Uh, some of our American friends may sneak across the border to visit us today and tomorrow because July the 4th, American Independence Day, that's tomorrow. A few things on the go today. Uh, the continuing investigation, or lack thereof, of car fire, some are going to call it car bombing, not that far away from Chilliwack Secondary School, and neighbors are saying Chilliwack RCMP aren't doing anything in their investigation, and there's a lot of criticism uh, towards that. This is a neighborhood that has been plagued with crime over the years. Uh, in fact, there was uh, two uh, drug houses and houses of ill repute uh, back in 2015 that ended up being shut down, one of which got torched. Uh, and there are plenty of rumors, of course, flying around. But that investigation allegedly continues. Uh, but really, no one knows exactly how that investigation is coming along. Everyone is being very quiet about it when it comes to Chilliwack Fire and Chilliwack RCMP. Erin Brockovich is, you probably know of her and her work. Julia Roberts won the Oscar some 20 years ago for her depiction of Erin Brockovich in the motion picture, uh, the biopic. She's coming back to the Lower Mainland. I saw her about maybe 15 years ago speak at the Orpheum. She will be speaking next year at the Surrey Board of Trade, and uh, tickets are now going on sale in the next couple of weeks via SBOT, and uh, all the information is up on uh, FraserValleyNewsNetwork.com. Chill TV's News of the Week, and it will be taped over the next day or so and broadcast on Thursday afternoon at 5, John Less, the former Chilliwack mayor and Chilliwack MLA, will be a special guest. Chilliwack Chiefs, their schedule for this fall in the BCHL has been released. And uh, if there's something we should know about, not only in Chilliwack and the Eastern Fraser Valley, but Abbotsford as well, uh, or Surrey, or Langley, let us know at uh, fen at shaw.ca, fen at shaw.ca. One other thing, too. Coquitlam, uh, or pardon me, the Coquihalla, uh, that 30-year-old uh, Carolyn Bridge is going to go through some serious rehab, and that means lane closures from now until October, right in the middle of the busy summer tourist season. And those are half-hour delays. Be prepared when you come towards that bridge that uh, you could be waiting in traffic in a hurry. So you could be going from 110 clicks to zero in just a few seconds, so be forewarned, heads up. That's about 25 kilometers north of Hope. Again, something we should know about, FBN at Shaw.ca, and as always, the old-fashioned way with uh, one of these. It's called a telephone, 604-392-5834, 604-392-5834. Have yourself a great day. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News and Chill TV.